Welcome to The Abundance Journey, the show that helps spiritual entrepreneurs create an abundance mindset that accelerates revenue. Secretly, everything you experience in your life is actually abundance. Once you understand how to activate abundance, you find yourself in flow with your business and clients, so it's easy to create the revenue you want. The Abundance Journey is the only show that activates abundance for you, so you enjoy rapid results in your business. Here's your host, the Abundance Ambassador, Elaine Starling. So are you really in touch with your own inner wisdom? Yeah, I got to ask you that because honestly, what you're experiencing on the outside in your everyday world is a reflection of what's going on inside and what you're feeling in the moment. Hi, I'm Elaine Starling, and I'm the Abundance Ambassador. I want to welcome you to the Abundance Journey podcast and video show. I am super psyched because I have one of my favorite people here to chat with you today. Let me tell you a little bit about Lauren Winnick, because she just rocks. And you're, you're going to love this woman. So her passion is to help clients recognize and unleash their innate and experiential wisdom. Now, understand this. Experiential wisdom is emotional, it's physical, and it's spiritual. It's holistic. It's all in one. And so often people are blocked in one area or the other, and they aren't aligning all at one time. And that's really where Lauren just shines. She's absolutely brilliant. She accomplishes this alignment through her heart light wellness practice. This is where she provides intuitive energy healing and spiritual mentoring. She also does wise women circles and she's got her own podcast, Curiously Wise. It's brilliant. My favorite podcast. You really need to listen to it because this woman has so much brilliance to share. She also has several award-winning stories of women who are finding their wisdom and owning it too in books that she's published that are award-winning books. I mean, this woman's not exactly a slouch, right? And I, it's no wonder I, I had to beg Lauren to come on the show. Lauren, I'm so grateful that you could join us today. Welcome. Thank you, Elaine. I am so excited to be here. I, I don't think I've ever had such a great introduction before. It was fabulous. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a fan? You know, yeah. just a little bit. It goes both yeah. ways. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're so good at what you do, but I, I want to get a little bit behind the scenes. And why are you so passionate about what you're doing to help people really understand this experiential alignment? It's because I had to learn it myself. <laughs> I had health problems. I had family emotional tr stuff and uh, parents that were had their own trials and tribulations <laughs> that they visited on me too. Um, and so it's been a journey, I think, of my whole life. I've always been very introspective. And so I, I but I avoided hard things. <laughs> you know? mm. And uh, what I did, what I found for myself is that my health got worse and worse as I sort of stuffed the things that I didn't really want to deal with. And that's what I find a lot of my clients is they're coming in with some health issue, often pain that they just can't figure out the source of. And so the, so modern Western medicine doesn't really, it helps manage it, but doesn't help cure it um, or release it is a better word for it. And, and so um, my journey to, to where I am now, which I love where I am now, um, took me to some intuitive healers. And one in particular made just massive changes in my health in two separate one hour sessions, one on a phone, one in person, a couple of years apart. And after the second one, I came out, I had actually gone into the ICU Ooh. because of what I saw her for. And, and, um, and she, it was allergies. It was just really bad allergies. I went into anaphylactic shock in the doctor's office getting tested for shots. So yeah, clearly the universe was going, this is not the way for you. Right. <laughs> right. Wow. Well, no wonder you're yeah. passionate about helping people not have to go to the ICU. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just, just cut out that part, you know, right, it's a right. little expensive and, anyway. They don't have the best beds. Well, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't recommend it. I mean, <laughs> But I, my whole life I'd had allergies, but they got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I finally was basically hiding out in my house for half the year when the pollens were so bad. Oh. Um, and so she helped me release 
those out the the underlying source of allergies, which is always fear. But for me, turned out I was afraid of everything. I didn't know that because that was just my normal. And so she had to sort of help me understand that I had this belief system that was was really keeping me in fear. And Lord knows our our world is good enough at doing that on its oh, own. Yeah. We don't do it to ourselves. <laughs> um, so that experience really um focused me. I'd always wanted to do something health-wise to help people feel better. I thought about medical school, don't have the science chops. I actually have a master's of public health because I thought that might be the way in several detours. And then this happened. And I was like, that's it. That's what I want to do. I didn't know if I could. Turns out I'd been writing stories about people who could, <laughs> you know. Yeah, the universe and, is sending you a few signs there. I think, Lauren, like, just one or two. But and I'm like, but you but I don't see anything. That, that is so brilliant, and I'm so glad that you brought this in because, yeah, you know, it's everything is energy, mm-hmm. and when the energy gets stuck, you know, I call them energetic bookmarks because the divine is sending you messages, but you haven't evolved. It, to a level to mm-hmm. really have that big picture perspective to understand the message that you just received. But right. somehow on an energetic level, you know, it's really important. So you right. attach a whole bunch of energy to it. And often that energy doesn't feel very good because you know, it's important and you want it to get your attention again later mm-hmm. when you can get it. Right. But the problem is so often we don't know how to go back and address it. So I love what you're doing. I really love what you're doing. But I have to ask you, I mean, obviously, it's a little <laughs> what you're doing with this intuitive healing and 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 energy healing. How when you think about abundance, because we're talking about the abundance journey here, how would you relate what you're doing to abundance? Well, for me, abundance is a feeling. And I never feel it as strongly as I do when I'm working with clients. I am completely in joy. I am al- allowed to use all of my gifts, all of my experience, all of the the you know the the magic you know it feels like in the world to help this person feel better, to help them understand what the blocks are, help them like like I had to do with mine see them essentially in order to release them. Um, and so for me, that's in my most abundant state and it's using, it's using experience. It's using knowledge. It's using all the, the lessons I've gotten working with other people. It's using my intuition and it's using my, my connection to spirit. That is so beautiful. That is so, we are blessed to have you delivering that. And, and I totally agree with you that abundance is a feeling first because what happens inside is what gets reflected on the outside. Yeah. And I love to call it now, yeah, baby, energy, <laughs> because it's that it's that feeling of excitement and delight and wonder. Yes. And you don't know what's going to happen next. No. You have no idea where the conversation is going to go. And you don't care because you're having mm-hmm. fun and it's going to be great. And who cares what happens, right? You're just mm-hmm. all in. You're leading in. And you're loving every second because yes. you know it's a blessing for you. Right. It's always a blessing. Well, obviously, your clients aren't feeling terribly blessed <laughs> when, the, when they show up to start working with you. So right. what's one of the symptoms? What do they typically, what are they dealing with when they suddenly go, oh, got to call Lauren? Yeah, it's um, it, typically it's been a journey like mine was through, you know, through years, usually years of some sort of pain, often it's physical pain and where they've been working with, with the medical community. And I'm, I work very collaboratively and, and easily with the medical community, but they, you know, they've gotten to a point where the medications aren't helping much anymore. You know, physical therapy hasn't solved the problem, whatever else, you know, surgeries, many times there's been, you know, joint replacements or other kinds of surgeries. And they just, it's, it's, it's like I was when I went to the, the intuitive healer, it's like, okay, nothing's working for me. What else is there? And you sort of put it out to the universe sometimes without even doing it knowingly, which is what I did. And the universe provides. I can't tell you how many times people have said to me that, because I always ask, how'd you find me? Um, They'll say, well, 
I just went on the internet and and searched for alternative healing and you popped right up. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. That's We're, great. And you know, yeah. you said something that's super important and I want to make sure that everybody really grasps this. You have to be open to mm. a new option, a new alternative, mm. a new perspective, a new something. Because obviously you've been trying lots of traditional things. And like you said, it's a three-part thing. It's emotional, it's physical, and it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. So of course you're collaborating with doctors. They're part of the spirit, you know, the the physical physical. side of things, right? And so it makes sense that you all come together. And the thing that will not change is me, right? I Mm -hmm. have to be willing to shift in order for me to experience that shift. So that leads me to my next question. Mm-hmm. What has to change internally for someone to experience a shift and, and you guide them to make that shift, but is there like a switch or something that we have to flip? I, I think, I think you get to what, you know, in, in writer terms is the dark night of the soul, or you get to the end of everything that the medical community has been able to do. And you're still in pain, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, Um, and you just, it's, it's almost that moment of you falling on your knees and going, I just, I just need some help. I, I don't know where or what, but I just need some help. Um, and until we get to the place where we're willing to allow help to come to us, as opposed to us going, I'm going to go to this doctor and then I'm going to go to that doctor and I'm going to keep going to doctors until I get the answer, or I'm going to take this medication and that medication, or I'm just going to stuff it down here and pretend like it doesn't bother me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, we've all done that before. And what you said was so powerful. I really want to emphasize this again. You have to be willing to receive. Yes. You You have have to be be willing to receive. We're automatically comfortable giving because then it's it's easier. We ask people what they need and we can show up or not, right? But mm-hmm. so often we don't necessarily know what we need. Right. And then we're confused about we don't know what to ask for. Right. But being willing to receive in whatever form that comes in, mm-hmm. that makes all the difference in the world. It makes a ton of difference. If you're not ready to receive, you're not going to receive. <laughs> So true. <laughs> that's just the truth of it. So you know? yeah. Yeah. It's like trying to force a gift on somebody who does like, no, I don't want it. You know? It's so funny. I always tell this story about um, it was during the Perseid meteor shower one year mm-hmm. and we live out in the country and we had um, my brother-in-law and his family come up and we're all sitting out. It's like two in the morning. We're in folding chairs and blankets and we're watching the shooting stars. Now, if you've ever watched shooting stars, sure, you have to kind of look at one area of the star field, but then you open your peripheral vision so that any little spark of light will grab your attention and you can actually watch a shooting star. My poor brother-in-law did not see a single star, not one. And everybody else was like, oh, oh, wow, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> We're just constantly, he's like, oh, yeah. what? Huh? Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a great, a great story for that. A great metaphor for that. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you gotta, you gotta open it's I, I like to, to help people learn how to talk to their guides and there's two rules you have to ask and then you have to receive. And I tell them, don't ask for something too narrow. Cause you're going to keep that door just barely ajar. Ask for something wide, ask for whatever is in your best interest, ask for help, but don't put parameters on it. Don't put that's limitations brilliant. and boundaries on it. That is so brilliant. So kind of leads into my next question. You know, obviously when we're dealing with a challenge or a problem, we would love to have had it fixed yesterday (laughs) or last year. (laughs) Yeah. But that's not how it works. There's a process, right? There's, There's a series of things that happens. What's one or two little baby steps that we should be paying attention to that let us know we're on the right track. Well, there's, there's this idea of synchronicity. So, you know, when I, when I finally went, okay, I need help. My best friend called and said, I've been working with this healer. I think she might be able to help you. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) okay, thank you very much. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I did the same thing with my son when he was little, he had bad asthma and was on all kinds of medication as his immune system was shot from the day he was born. And we got to a point where the next medication was had all kinds of nasty side effects, lifelong side effects, essentially. And I went, 
I, I'm, I, I, we need something else. I don't know what it is, but we need something else. My dad met somebody at a meeting who had just started a consulting company to, uh, to connect people like me and my husband to altern to vetted alternative healthcare practitioners. Oh, this was I'm back so... in the nineties, in the early nineties. <laughs> you know, again, that days. was, that was, <laughs> I got to the end of the line with what we were doing. It wasn't working. I wasn't willing to do any more of that but we still needed help. And, and, and I keep doing this, opening my hands wide, because that's essentially what I did. It's like, I, I'm at my ropes and my wits in, I need some help. I need something else for my yeah. son. And, yeah. Um, it was life changing for me. That is so, so wonderful. And I'm yeah. so glad that you found some good solutions for your yeah. son through yeah. that. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. So we talked a little bit, Lauren, before we got started on this wild and crazy conversation about your <laughs> beautiful free gift. And I'd love for you to describe your free gift for the audience. Um, well, my free gift is if you go to my website, which is heartlightjoy.com, and you sign up for my newsletter, you get my top three ways of connecting or communicating with your guides. This is a piece of this work that I find so valuable. And it's um, it's just little simple things that you can do to start to get messages from the universe in a more conscious way. That is brilliant. And of course, I'll make sure that the link is available in the show notes. So don't freak out if you didn't have a chance and you don't remember <laughs> the URL. Not to worry. We'll make sure that you get access to it because honestly, you are receiving guidance all the time. All the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Yep. And so being able to tune in and pay attention to it, it's kind of like receiving. When yeah. you start receiving the messages from the divine and from your guides and all mm -hmm. of that, everything shifts for you. And you yes. end up experiencing a lot more synchronicity in everything that you do. So I Absolutely. definitely want you to get Lauren's free gift. It's really yep. powerful. It'll flip the switch for you for everything else you want to do. Now, Lauren, we're a little different here at The Abundance Journey because we always turn the table on our guests. We love to support you because we know that when we give is when we receive. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to support you? What can you do to support me? Well, I love talking to new people. And so this has been fun too. But I have, I have a call you can do with me. Just call me. I don't you don't have to work with me. I just like to meet people and, and share my wisdom with them in whatever way seems most useful to them in the moment. I love doing that. That's such a gift to me to be able to connect with people that way. And so that also is on my website. And it's just, I, I have met some of the most fascinating people. I, Elaine, I think I met you that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, I, there, there's no requirement to do anything other than let's just have a chat and because it just lights me up when I get to do that. So oh, that and, would be and, a great gift. You know, to me. that is a sweet spot, right? Because you get to use your gifts, right? Yeah. You're tapping in and really tuning in to the energy of the other person right. and able right. to support them. And yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Thank you, yeah. Lauren. I mean, yeah. no surprise, as usual, generous as always. <laughs> Thank you. I so appreciate that. It's it's so it's so much fun to connect with new people and be able to share my gifts with them. And mm. even in just a short call, we can do some pretty amazing things. So you can yeah. see why I wanted to interview Lauren, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. It's amazing. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us today. I really, really appreciate it. And I want everybody else to stay tuned because we are going to activate abundance. So are you ready to activate abundance in every single area of your life? Well, you can get in flow with your business and your clients. It's as easy as you can imagine to create the kind of revenue you really want in your business. You can join me for the Abundance Journey six-week training and coaching program that help you turn your problems into prosperity. Just visit theabundancejourney.com to sign up for our next adventure. Well, it's time to activate abundance. And Lauren gave us so many different great ideas and insights that we could work with. But I'm going to pick one because I think it's really like the starting point of everything that you want to receive, everything that you want to experience. I gave it away. It's about receiving. Okay, so step one, gratitude. I love this question. How can it get even better than this? 
because it's gratitude for the present moment and this incredible experience that we just have with Lauren. Our energy is now connected with hers. She's absolutely brilliant with intuitive healing and, and she can help you remotely. So just being connected to her energy is automatically healing. How can it get even better than this? Yay. And you're ready for more. So it's a two-parter. It's gratitude for the present moment and gratitude that even more wonderful things are on the way. Yay. That energy is so important because step two, acknowledge something that you just heard that was a breakthrough idea. Lauren talked about the power of receiving, that if you are not willing to receive, nothing is going to change for you. It's, it's really interesting. As human beings, we get very set in our ways. And I was thinking about this just the other day because energy is constantly in flow. And if you think about your life, everything is flowing, right? You eat breakfast, well, that flows on and then you have lunch and that flows on and then you have dinner and that flows on and then you go to bed. Nothing stays exactly the same in any moment. But as humans, we tend to grab onto things trying to control them. And that doesn't allow us to receive. When we're willing to just step out there and say, okay, I'm ready, divine. Please bring in exactly what's needed for me to grow from here. And we've got some curiosity and enthusiasm and appreciation for it. Woo! The floodgates open and the blessings start coming in. But we have to be willing to receive. That was a really, really important concept. So that's what I want to acknowledge. Step three is appreciate. I want to appreciate the difference it can make in my life when I show up willing to receive. Because, you know, I love to use this analogy. It's almost like you're being dealt all these cards, like playing cards, and you have no idea which card game you're going to be playing. But because you're open and you're willing to receive, you get dozens of playing cards. And then no matter what game, Somebody says, oh, it's go fish. No problem. Oh, no, we're playing bridge. No problem. I got lots to choose from. I have tons of options. I'm living a life of abundance. I really appreciate that when I'm in receiving mode, I'm automatically in abundance. That's what I'm all about. The abundance ambassador. Yay. Okay. Step four, we want to activate abundance. And there are two different ways to do that. Number one Every time something happens, you have a little trigger that reminds you. So what I like to do, every time I feel myself kind of shutting down a little bit, like it's, yes, it is related to fear, but it's not that extreme. It's like somebody's bothering me. Something about the way they show up just kind of ticks me off. That's an immediate like, oh, I'm not being receptive. Uh -uh. I got to, I got to open up here. And so I do my best to lean in with love because whenever somebody's starting to tick me off a little bit, or I feel unappreciated or whatever it is, whatever's bothering me, that's a sign I need to show up with more love in this moment, that there's a special thing here for me if I'm willing to show up that way. Okay. So that's my trigger that reminds me to activate abundance. Now, the second way that you activate abundance is you actually pull out your calendar and you put it on your calendar. But for what we're talking about here with being ready to receive, to me, you need more of a trigger. You need a signal that reminds you of a behavior you want to take. Okay. So that was step four was activated by step five, celebrate your progress. This is what it looks like when it's working. It's all coming together for you. You got some brilliant ideas and information from Lauren. And now you know how you can truly step in and receive at a much higher level. You can get access to her free guide that shows you how to receive messages from your guides, from your angels, from the divine. And as you become more adept at that, you start to notice more and more guidance is showing up for you all the time. And you stay in gratitude. You acknowledge the contribution you just received. You have appreciation for the difference it makes in your life. You activate it by figuring out how you're really going to apply it and you celebrate. This is what it looks like when it's working. Your life is blessed. You are such a blessing. And we're really lucky to have you here. This is Elaine Starling, the Abundance Ambassador. Thank you so much for joining me for the Abundance Journey. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. 
You've been listening to The Abundance Journey Show with Elaine Starling. Visit theabundancejourney.com slash podcast gifts to access today's gift as well as gifts from our other guests. Tune in every week to activate abundance in your life and business. If something resonated with you, please share it with your friends so they can benefit too. Keep activating abundance and we'll see you in the next episode.